today we are going to do a really fun underwater craft using watercolors. We're going to be making some watercolor resist paintings. You're going to need some watercolor paper. You can use cardstock for this too, but watercolor paper is usually really thick and it's got kind of a texture on one side. You're also going to need a pencil so you can draw a little bit of paper towel or a piece of maybe cotton cloth that nobody needs, a set of watercolor paints, some water, some brushes, and some black and white crayons. All right, so we're gonna start out with a crab. So when you draw a crab, you just need to draw one big oval. Draw two curves on either side of the top, kind of like two little horns. And then on top of that, you draw one big curve. Like this. And then a little curve inside. some legs, which can just be little curves. And then you need some eyes. The crab eyes stand up on little stalks. So those are gonna be little circles on top of more slightly curved lines. And then I'm gonna draw the pupils looking in towards each other. And I'll draw a big smiley mouth. All right, so what I'm gonna do is outline all of my lines with a black crayon. my crab. Now what we're going to do is use our white crayon and we're going to just make whatever kinds of designs you want and these will show up after you paint. So you can't see but I made a whole bunch of, of designs in my white crayon. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint my crab. When you're painting with watercolor make sure that your watercolor is nice and wet. And I'm gonna paint my crab orange on the top and then he's gonna be red on the bottom. So I'm gonna go in with my orange and the claws. It's a lot of water. Too much water. So that is what our paper is for. Once you get some paint on your brush, if you feel like you've got water dripping off of your brush, you just dab it on your paper. And that's better. You don't have to be perfect about staying in the lines, actually. I think I'm going to go outside the lines on purpose a little bit because I just like the way that that looks. Paint up on top. I hope you 
guys had fun making some underwater art with your watercolors. If you make any of these, we would love to see what you made. Bye guys.